candles. Candles right behind.
Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant we pray that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let's listen to God's word. The Shalomite met him on the road. The two were alone in the area, and the prophet was wearing a new cloak. Ahijah took off his new cloak, tore it into twelve pieces, and said to Jeroboam, Take ten pieces for yourself. The Lord, the God of Israel, says, I will take away the kingdom from Solomon's grasp and give you ten of the tribes. One tribe shall remain to him for the sake of David, my servant, and of Jerusalem, the city I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel. Israel went into rebellion against David's house to this day. The word of the Lord. <laughs> Response to the song. Please respond. I am the Lord, your God, hear my voice. I am the Lord, your God, hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God. Who led you forth from the land of Egypt? I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. My people heard not my voice, and Israel obeyed me not. So I gave them up to the hardness of their hearts. They walked according to their own counsels. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in my ways, quickly would I humble their enemies. Against their foes, I would turn my hand. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. spitting touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned, and he said to him, Epipatha, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened, his speech impediment was removed, and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. 
They were exceedingly astonished and they said, he has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus comes to us in a lot of different ways. And uh, we have also come to him in a lot of different ways. Already this morning, we started singing together, giving praise to God together. And that's the way of us opening our hearts to Jesus himself and letting him touch our lives. And then we also prayed as we are asked to by the church. We pray that our hearts would be made ready by Jesus and he would give us his forgiveness and prepare us to celebrate this moment when we ask him to change the bread and wine into his body and blood. It's a very special, special moment. And then we have his word come to us through the Bible that was read very well this morning and proclaimed for us and so it's also a moment again to open our ears to hear his word and to hear what Jesus is saying uh, to us. And as we enter the gospel, especially today, we hear that St. Peter himself brought a man to Jesus who could not speak really well at all and who could not hear. And he presented him for Jesus with the expectation that Jesus would heal him. And of course we hear in the gospel that Jesus took him aside. So it was a very personal moment for him. And Jesus touched his ears and touched his tongue. And both were opened. And he could speak normal and hear normal. Now one of the things that happens to us is when we hear about miracles like that, we don't think of the miracle happening to us. But that's actually why we're here in church, to have the miracle of Jesus touching us this morning with his love and with his very presence, Jesus being especially part of us. So adults, heads up. I'm going to want you to do what the kids are doing. Okay, adults. So Jesus touched the ears of this man and brought him his healing. So we want Jesus to touch our ears. So we'll start there. Everybody? We'll touch our ears and then say a prayer that the Lord will touch your ears. If you need healing of your ears, pray for that. But especially pray that His Word will come to us. We will hear it in a very special way. And then Jesus touched the lips of the man. So we touched the lips. Asking Jesus to touch our lips and our tongue. And if the healing is needed in any way, that healing will happen. Pray for that in a special way. But also we pray that we may speak his word all day today. All day today. And then we ask, because Jesus actually touched his heart. So we have Jesus touching our heart this morning. And with his love. And that we can feel his love and hold his love in a very special, special way way. And then we pray that Jesus will touch our lives. So let's open up completely touching our lives. Asking God to touch our lives in whatever way we need to be touched to heal our lives in whatever way it needs to be healed and to make his love very special present to all that we do, all that we say that we can be an example of his love all day today as we love one another uh, that Jesus asked us to do as he, we love ourselves and we bring it all back to our hearts. Adults, you did very well. <laughs> so the final piece of this is that we ask Jesus to become physically present with us physically present in his body and blood on the altar. 
And so as we bring the bread and the wine to the altar, we pray in a special way that Jesus himself will change the bread and wine into his body and blood. So that when we come up to receive him in Holy Communion or we come up for a communion prayer, it may be a special moment in which we meet the Jesus of the Gospel. We meet the Jesus who walked the earth. We meet the Jesus who is with us now very personally and loves us. And as we receive his communion prayer or as we receive in a special way Holy Communion, that becomes a moment in which we are united with Him. And there's a moment in which there's no difference between His body and blood and our body and blood. He becomes one with us. And so one more time, we ask Him to touch our ears, our mouths, our hearts, and our lives. Amen. Amen. that God hears our prayers. We lift up all of our prayers and petitions, asking God to hear and answer each of them. Please respond. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. And the leaders of our church, especially Bishop Kinnaman, be blessed as they continue to spread the good news of the gospel. We pray to the Lord. May our leaders work to bring peace to all nations. We pray to the Lord. May we encourage one another to live lives based on faith, hope, and charity. We pray to the Lord. May all who are discerning the priesthood in our religious life seek God's will in their lives. We pray to the Lord. May we, the students, faculty, and staff of Our Lady of Fatima School, be guided by the Holy Spirit as we work to build up the body of Christ as His disciples. We pray to the Lord. May all the sick and suffering in our community be touched by the healing power of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. May those who have died as friends of Jesus be welcomed into their heavenly home. We pray to the Lord. Holy God, hear our prayers. Shower your blessing upon us that we may come to know, to love, to serve, and to witness to your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let's be seated for the preparation of the gifts. Our song to for joy is called Lord of God Speak. Myself, but I lost the words, and the 
my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices be pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we proclaim. Merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.